In this video, we present our technique for repairing horizontal cleavage tears with all-inside circumferential compression sutures utilizing the Smith & Nephew Novasage Pro all-inside device. This video focuses on the medial compartment after completion of the diagnostic arthroscopy. Of note, it is important to place your portals such that you have a direct approach to the meniscal injury. Portals placed too superiorly or inferiorly may compromise adequate access to the meniscus. The tear is initially identified with the probe to inspect the full extent of the tear and to confirm the tear type. The frayed edges will then be debrided back to healthy tissue utilizing a combination of the arthroscopic shaver and biter to repair the edges for further repair. An arthroscopic rasp will then be introduced to stimulate bleeding from the meniscus and adjacent capsule to aid in the delivery of healing factors to potentiate the healing. Often, trephination of the meniscal tissue with an 18-gauge needle is also used to stimulate local bleeding through the creation of vascular channels, which is not demonstrated here. The posterior aspect of the tear will be addressed first working through the ipsilateral portal. The Smith & Nephew Novasage Pro on the device is utilized to place a vertical compression stitch through the horizontal cleavage tear. When introducing the device into the knee, the upper jaw should be held in a down position to avoid cartilage injury. The strand should then be firmly pulled to ensure there's adequate purchase to the meniscus, and the suture should be tied and cut arthroscopically. A subsequent stitch is placed 3 to 4 millimeters adjacent to the prior stitch. Ideally, an arthroscopic probe should not be able to fit in the space between the two sutures. As the repair progresses anteriorly, the working portal should then be switched to the contralateral arthroscopic portal and the repair should be completed such that a probe cannot be introduced between two stitches. If there is further difficulty accessing the medial compartment, trephination of the MCL with an 18-gauge needle one centimeter above the joint line may be performed to improve visualization.